welcome everyone to our new um, lecture video, lecture number five. So we will talk about Alfred Adler's individual psychology. Okay, bakit siya tinawag na individual? Dahil uh, ang focus ni Alfred Adler is about uh, social situation or yung ating uh, relationship with other people, yung ating interest on social relations. Kaya, uh, kumaga parang before na maintindihan natin yung ating mga sarili or selves, uh, we must first uh, get into a relationship and build no attachment with them. So, kaya siya tinawag na individual. So, ang focus is the individual, the person itself, and how we uh, gain power over everything. No, how we control our lives, yan. Kung ang kay Sigmund Freud is about uh, yung mga past, ganun, uh, that we are controlled by our past experiences, experiences, pero kay Adler, uh, more like uh, present at saka medyo may pagka-futuristic din. No? We are uh, pulled by, by uh, our goals in life. Uh, and then, we also focus on the present. Kaya, very optimistic in terms of um, kung ano yung perspective ng theory niya. So, okay, let's begin. Okay, overview of individual psychology. So, dito pinapakita yung comparison ng theory ni Freud. Ano yung mga focus niya sa kanyang theory and also Adler's. Okay, so kay Freud... Uh, motivation of behavior is, of course, sex and aggression, no? yung uh, libido. And for Adler, it's more like striving for superiority or success. So, yun daw yung nagmamotivate sa ating behavior. Yan. Gusto natin to be superior or to be successful. Okay? And then, pangalawa, people have little or no choice in shaping their personality. So, yun naman yung kay Freud kasi nga, deterministic, causal. Ibig sabihin, uh, yung, yung behavior mo ngayon is determined by your past. Kung mag wala ka nang magagawa, you can do uh, nothing or even if you can do something, it's very little. No? Kasi nga, um, influence ng past. No, yung behavior. Kaya, wala kang choice. But for Adler, people are largely responsible for who they are. Okay? Kaya, sa na, nasabi ko kanina na uh, tayo yung nagko-control sa mga buhay natin, sa behaviors natin, because for Ad, Ad, Adler, uh, he believes na we have this creative power. Yeah, we have this uh, mm, Kaya nga individual, eh. sabihin, ikaw yan. Kaya mong uh, baguhin, no? Or i-change yung, yung personality or lifestyle into something better. Okay? And then, pangatlo, uh, kay Freud, present behavior is caused by past experiences. Diba? Pero kay Adler, present behavior is shaped by people's view of the future. Okay? So, ganun. Um, as I've said a while ago, yung uh, para kay Freud, yung ating uh, pilos ngayon, yung behavior natin ay determined by the past. Kaya nga sabi nila, the best predictor of uh, behavior is the past behavior. Of the, uh, the best predictor of present behavior is the past behavior. Kaya, kaya mo nagagawa ngayon is because uh, ganito ka dati, ginawa mo ito dati, parang gamot. And then, kay Adler, um, yung present behavior mo ngayon, uh, yun ay dahil uh, yun yung view mo of the future. No? Kung baga parang meron ka kasing gustong ma-achieve na goal or may gusto kang uh, uh, na to, mangyari sa buhay mo sa mga susunod na panahon. So, yung buhay mo ngayon, yung present behavior mo ngayon is a lifestyle, no? Magiging lifestyle siya. Papunta dun sa pinapangarap mo na maging ikaw. Yeah, yeah. And uh, last, Freud, 
emphasize on the unconscious components of behavior, di ba? Very important sa kanya yung, yung unconscious level of the mind. While for Adler, um, psychologically healthy people are, are usually aware of what they are doing and why they are doing it. Okay, so for Adler, I, unconscious uh, doesn't seem to play much on his theory. No, for him, uh, to be psychologically healthy or to have a sound mind, meaning you are you have to be aware of what you are doing and why you are doing it. No, but for Freud, uh, most of our behaviors, uh, we do not know on why are we doing it. Uh, ganun talaga. Mas malaki yung uh, influence talaga ng unconscious level of the mind according to Freud. Kaya Adler, wala. Wala siyang uh, levels of mentality. Uh, we need to be aware. In order for you to control then yung buhay mo. Kaya nga, more on, kaya nga sinaming individual kasi more on controlling uh, the oneself no, more on uh, having a creative power of the self. Yan, yan yung uh, focus ng theory ni Adler. So, this is the overview of individual psychology. Yan, so, more on the self talaga, no, yung kay Adler, and um, focus on the uh, being independent and being autonomous of the self. And most of our behaviors, yun nga, are present and you are consciously aware of. Okay, now let's go to the biography of Alfred Adler. Okay, Alfred Adler was born in February 7, 1870 in Rudolfsheim, Vienna. So, taga Vienna rin siya, same with uh, Sigmund Freud. And he died in May 28, 1937 in Aberdeen, Scotland no, by uh, having a heart attack. Okay, his parents were Pauline and Leopold, a middle-class Jewish grain merchant from Hungary. So, they are seven children and he was the second-born child. Ayan, so, ang, ang eldest nila, yung pinakakuya niya, is also named as Sigmund. No? Kaya medyo, uh, nito, medyo may hostile feelings din siya kay Sigmund Freud because magkapangalan sila ng kuya niya na very uh, rival niya. No, nung kabataan niya. Yan, kasi Adler was born weak and sickly sa kitten and nearly died of pneumonia when he was five. Kaya nung time na yon nung siya ay araw buhay, uh, pinangako niya sa sarili niya na mag-strive siya for the better. Kung baga yung weakness niya na yon yung inferiority niya yon niya na yon na pagkakaroon ng uh, uh, pagiging sakitin niya, or weak body, pagkakaroon ng weak body, or weak immune system, uh, push him, no, or motivates him to to strive for superiority. Kaya yung, yung theory niya talaga is more like uh, based talaga rin sa kanyang personal experience. So, ganun daw tayo bilang tao. Yung ating mga kahinaan ay, yun nga, kinocompensate natin uh, by doing our best in everything, no, doing everything that uh, the best that we could to to strive for the better, to improve ourselves. Yeah, kung bago naging mas uh, naging ano siya, naging motivation. Yeah, kaya kaya gusto niya maging doctor noon. No, kaya inisip niya kasi na yun nga dahil sa akin siya, so sinabi sa sarili niya na uh, hindi ako mamatay, magiging doctor pa ako. So parang ganon, no. And he was married to Raisa Epstein. Uh, has four, four children. Yan. So, si Alexandra and Kurt, naging psychiatrist, si Valentin or Vali, ayon, namatay as a political prisoner at the Soviet Union, and si Cornelia aspired to be an actress. Okay, and actually, he, he was an eye specialist but turned to psychiatry and general medicine. Yan. So, nagtayo rin siya ng Society for Individual Psychology, he taught at Columbia University and in 1932, uh, he was a permanent resident of the United States and held the position of visiting professor for medical psychology at Long Island College of Medicine 
now uh, Down State Medical School, State University of New York. So, yan yung naging ano niya. Um, ayun. And he published a book, no, yung Study of Organ Inferiority and Its Psychical Compensation. Kasi nga, masyado siya naging interested, no, doon sa pagkakaroon ng mga sakit niya tulad niya nag uh, yung yung pagkakaroon niya ng sakit na pneumonia at saka yung uh, pagiging mahina niya at sakitin uh, it's a kind it's an inferiority no for him and actually nakatulong yun nakatulong yung sabi nga niya ang premise ng theory niya is all of us we have uh, inferiorities na in life walang tao na wala noon kasi kung wala yun Uh, hindi ka magi strive for superiority or for success. Okay? And then at age 5, ayun nga, he decided that his goal in life would be to conquer them. Yan. So, talagang pinangako yun sa sarili niya na hindi siya agad-agad mamamatay, no? And dahil din yan dun sa death ng younger brother niya na si Rudolph. So, na-witness niya yon na ay, ano pala, no? Parang Um, posible pala na mamatay ang isang tao. So, kung maga para i-prevent yun or para patagalin pa yung buhay is, ayun, uh, naging lifestyle niya na magpakalakas at saka, yun nga, mag-aral ng medisina. Uh, he feels comfortable in group situations. He's a democratic. And, yan, yeah, uh, sabi niya, physical deficiencies and not sex, no, according to Freud niya, form the foundation of human motivation. So, yun yung nag-motivate sa atin, yung mga physical deficiencies. Siguro nga, maaaring uh, may katotohan, no? kaya nga sa some of us, yung mga inferiorities natin, nag-umpisa sa pagkakaroon ng mga organ defect, no, physical deformities or deficiencies, like for example, kahit nga hindi deficiency, alimbawa, hindi maganda yung legs mo, or hindi ka napute, or pangong ilong mo, di ba? So, those, uh, those, um, physical, uh, inferiorities, yun yung nagmamotivate sa atin on what we do today, because we want to be like this in the future, parang naman. So, the drive for superiority was a more basic motive than sexuality. And social interest and compassion could be the cornerstone of human motivation, of course. Kasi kung lagi kang, ang focus mo daw ay sa self lang, hindi magiging psychologically healthy. No? Kung baga, sabi niya, oo, may inferiority ka, kaya ka nag-strive for superiority, but yung superiority na tinutukoy ay hindi lamang para sa sarili mo, kundi kaya ka kaya mo gusto na maging superior or maging better person in the future is because you want to transfer you want to give to other people 'di ba you want to help other people kasi kung hindi ka improve kung hindi ka better kung hindi ka okay kung hindi ka superior you cannot do something for other people yeah, kaya may social interest you have this interest to help and the compassion Diba? To, to sympathize, to empathize with people. So, yun daw yung talagang nagmamotivate sa atin. Kasi kung puro din, puro sa self, parang hindi, wala kang kontentuhan, di ba? Uh, kasi kapag halimbawa, hindi naging matagumpay yung, yung mga plano mo, yung goals mo, then you get depressed, you get sad, you get disappointed, and then uh, it turned out na uh, pwede ka makaisip na mag-suicide, ganyan. So, hindi siya, wala siyang social interest kasi you are only thinking about yourself, di ba? You are only thinking about your social, uh, about your welfare, own welfare. Okay? His personal qualities included an optimistic attitude toward the human condition, an intense competitiveness coupled with friendly congeniality, and a strong belief in the basic gender equality which combined with the willingness to forcefully advocate women's rights. Yeah, kasi kay Freud, yung theory ni Freud, medyo pang uh, may rivalry ang, ang genders, no? yung male and female, na very patriarchal yung theory niya, wherein uh, masyadong nasa pedestal or uh, mas maybe ang importance yung pagiging 
men or male. While sa theory ni Adler, uh, very visible yung gender equality. No, yung gender equality. Parang pareho lang, both men and women uh, have a uh, uh, drive for superiority and very optimistic yung theory ni Adler because uh, we are always striving to get better, to be better, no? Uh, to improve. Kay Freud kasi sa theory niya, parang hanggang dyan ka na lang, parang wala nang ikaka-better, wala nang uh, for, uh, room for improvement, no? Kasi nga, you are always influenced by your past. Pero kay Adler, no, uh, we can still uh, uh, use that inferiority that we have no, uh, to or witnesses that we have to strive for the better or to strive for improvement. No? And of course, we compete. Uh, we compete not uh, with others, but with our past selves. Parang gano, no? Competition with our past selves uh, to become the better version of ourselves. Okay, so here are the key concepts of individual psychology. Number one key concept is the one dynamic force behind people's behavior is the striving for success or superiority. So, sabi ko nga kanina uh, na yung isa no, sa talagang uh, motivator ng ating behavior, kung bakit tayo, why we behave like this, is that we always strive for, for success or superiority. Actually, nung una, superiority talaga yan. Kasi sabi ni Adler, uh, gusto natin maging better sa sarili natin. Gusto natin mag-improve. Ma-improve yung ating mga kahinaan, uh, maging, maging maganda, maging maayos, maging mabuti, ganyan, para maging uh, kataas-taasan, parang ganun, superior. Pero, hindi to the point na makakatapa ka ng ibang tao. Parang ganun. Hindi to the point na nakikipag-competensya ka sa ibang tao, kundi nakikipag-competensya ka sa sarili mo. Okay? You want to be better because you want to be the better version of yourself. Not to compete with other people. Not to be superior or above them. Okay? Kaya pinalitan niya yan ng success. Kasi mas parang mas appropriate yung term na success because it doesn't talk about uh, uh, being better compared to other people, no? Kung bagay, yun yung iniiwasan niya doon, eh. Misan kasi ganun yung nangyayari. Uh, kadalasan, no? Kapag, kung bagay, nabubulag tayo ng sarili natin, ang um, pagangad na maging, maging mabuti, maging maayos, kasi lagi natin kinocompare yung mga selves natin to other people. Yan. Kaya masama din kapag sobra or hindi natin alam kung para saan ba yung pagiging superior. Okay? So, yan. And then number two, people's subjective perceptions shape their behavior and personality. Yan. So, meron siyang term na tinatawag na subjective perception. Or itong, uh, meron pang isang tawag siya dyan eh. Uh, kung bagay yan daw yung nasa isip natin, no? yung bang kung ano yung sa tingin natin mabuti para sa atin. No? Kasi subjective, ibig sabihin, iba-iba tayo. No? Parang, ayun, ah, naalala ko na kung anong isa pang tawag dyan. Yung fictional final goal. No? Fictional or fictional final goal, ibig sabihin, ito yung parang... Tulad nung bata si Adler, no? sinabi niya sa sarili niya na ah, iku-conquer niya yung death. No? Hindi siya papayag na, na ganito siya lagi. Hindi siya papayag na sakitin siya. Kung bagay yung, yung, yung subjective na yun, nasa isip mo lang, pero yun yung mag-guide sa'yo sa mga behavior mo sa present hanggang sa maabot mo na yung, yung goal mo o yung objective mo. Kaya subjective perception. So, walang iba na nag-influence sa'yo nga. Ikaw yung nakaisip nga, ikaw yung, kumbaga, interpretasyon mo yun, kaya nga subjective, and always na uh, yun yung parang guide mo, no? kung ano yung uh, subjective perception na meron ka, or yung pinatawag natin fictional 
uh, fictional or finally same mga ganun. Depende sa book eh. May mga pinatawag din na yun nga yung term na uh, finalism or uh, subjective final goal. Yan. E, isa yan. Pare-pareho lang sila. And then, uh, we have number three. Personality is unified and self-consistent. Sige yan talagang uh, kumbaga uh, isa. No, isa yung lahat ng ginagawa natin is for the betterment. Nag Nagkakan yung lahat ng aspect ng personality natin is self-consistent. So, lahat ng ginagawa mo is for the self. For the self. Yeah. Not for you to be superior or compared to others, but to to be superior to give help to others. Yeah. And the value of all human activity must be seen from the viewpoint of social interest. So, yun nga yung sinasabi ko kanina pa na uh, lahat ng uh, ginagawa natin ay hindi para sa sarili. No? Kaya mong ini-improve, kaya mong ginagawa better yung sarili is because you have this social interest to help the society, to help other people. Ayan. So, meron siyang term na ginamit dyan sa social interest which is a German term, no? yung Gemeinschaftsgefall. Yeah, so, yung spelling niya is baka later on sa mga susunod na slides will be uh, presented. Okay, the self-consistent personality structure develops into a person's style of life. So, yun. So, dahil meron kang subjective perception o yung fictional finalism o yung subjective final goal na tinatawag na nag-guide sa personality mo, Ah, uh, yung yung style of life, ito yung way of living mo naman. Ay, yun lang naman yung parang uh, ito yung uh, parang uh, mga traits, qualities, characteristics na meron ka na ginagamit mo sa pang-araw-araw para ma-achieve mo yung subjective uh, final goal o subjective perception mo. Okay? And then style of life is molded by people's creative power. Ayun. Ikaw ang gumagawa ng style of life mo. No? You are the one who controls on what you do every day. Yan, para ma-achieve mo nga yung final goal o yung subjective perception na meron ka. And uh, Adler uh, called that creative power. Creative because you are the one who create, who transform everything, uh, who live your life. Uh, you are the one who who think uh, on what uh, what to do, you know, paano mo ba gagawin, ikaw yun. Kaya creative. And then, it it is also a power because uh, it makes you uh, it makes you independent, it makes you autonomous in a way, it makes you feel na you are in charge, di ba? So, kaya creative power. Yeah. Kasi yung kay Sigmund Freud na theory, parang para tayong puppet, di ba? Parang, ay, kasi kaya ka ganyan ngayon, kasi ganito ka dati, di ba? Ganito yung mga naisip mo dati, ito yung unconsciously, ganito ka, kaya ganyan yung ginagawa mo. So, parang, nawawalan ka ng power sa sarili mo, di ba? So, kay Adler naman, hindi ganun. We have this, uh, we're not controlled by the past, we're not controlled by the unconscious, but we, we ourselves have this uh, creative power. So, it it seems to uh, to be well related to our cognition, diba? On how we think. Yan, kasi when we say creativity, it's part of our thinking, of our cognitive ability. Kaya more like uh, medyo malapit siya sa cognitive psychology din. Okay? So, yan yung mga key concepts of individual psychology. Okay, so, isa-isahin natin yung mga key concepts in individual psychology. So, yun na yung number one, no, the one dynamic force is striving for success or superiority. So, sabi dito, everyone begins life with uh, physical deficiencies that activate feelings of inferiority, feelings that motivate a person to strive for either superiority or success. So, sabi, psychologically unhealthy individuals strive for personal superiority whereas 
psychologically healthy people seek success for all humanity. So, as I've said a while ago, ganun nga na nag-start no, yung pagkakaroon natin ng uh, inferiority feelings by having physical deficiencies or organ uh, deficiencies. Uh, kung baga lahat naman tayo may ganun nung mga bata pa tayo. Uh, may mga part ng katawan natin or sarili natin na parang ayaw natin and then it became an inferiority uh, inferior uh, it, it, it's, it has been a source of having inferiority feelings no? wherein uh, it motivates a person na to strive for either yun nga, yung superiority kasi uh, speaks for personal no? very personal siya kasi parang gusto mo lang na maging maganda, maging okay kasi uh, compare mo nga yung sarili mo sa ibang tao and um, yung success is more appropriate or more uh, better or better kasi nga mas okay siya dahil uh, gusto mong maging better, gusto mong mag-improve kasi you also want to be an inspiration or to help other people. Yan, kumbaga parang parang ito yung ano yung premise na how can you how can you help uh, other people? na bawa uh, kailangan mo nang ibangon di ba yung sarili mo bago mo ibangon yung iba parang ganon so we seek for success for all humanity so, hindi lang para sa sarili mo kundi para sa lahat kaya connected din siya dun sa sinasabi ni Alfred Adler na social interest and that social interest should be cultivated hindi siya kagad uh, nandyan sa atin. Kailangan siyang i-nurture. Uh, I-nurture ng proper parenting and uh, yung proper na pakikipag-socialize uh, sa mga tao. Okay. So, yan yung kaibahan na ng success and superiority. Okay, here naman, uh, final goal. Uh, people strive toward a final goal of either personal superiority or the goal of success for all humankind. So, ganun pa din, no? Connected pa rin dun sa uh, striving for superiority or success. The final goal is fictional. Kaya ito rin yung kanina yung subjective perception. Kaya fictional kasi pwedeng hindi naman siya fact. No? Pwedeng totoo siya for you but not for other people. Kaya subjective. Kaya fictional. It can be modified. It can change. No, it cannot. It can be real or unreal. No, ah, uh, it depends on how determined you are to achieve that final goal. Okay, and the product, the this is the product of the creative power, diba? That is, ah, uh, people's ability to freely shape their behavior and create their own personality. See, this is something unique from the theory of Sigmund Freud. No? Okay, Sigmund Freud, we are not free. No? Our, our behavior, our personality is already uh, predetermined by the past. Yan. Pero kay Adler, uh, we have this ability called creative power nga, which is also a product of that fiction no fictional final goal or fictional finalism na uh, we can uh, modify we can change we can control our behavior and create our own personality and usually at age 4 or 5 we can already set our final goal na bata pa lang meron na kagad tayong iniisip na ah, gusto ko ganito, maging, di ba? Yung mga ganun. Actually, that is an example of a final goal, no? And then, when an individual's final goal is known, all actions make sense. And each sub-goal takes on new significance. Okay, so doon napapasok yung style of life. Yan. Kasi once, yung final goal, yung pinaka-framework mo, yun yung iyong uh, uh, in-eye, no? towards the future, 
So doon naka-ancla lahat ng mga ginagawa mo ngayon, lahat ng actions mo. Yan. Okay? So, alright. Okay, the striving force as compensation. People strive for superiority or success as a means of compensation for feelings of inferiority or weakness. Totoo naman, di ba? Uh, it means that we we compensate, big sabihin ng compensation parang uh, binabawi, di ba? Bumabawi tayo uh, doon sa mga inferiority na meron tayo or sa mga weaknesses na meron tayo. Adler believed that all humans are blessed at birth with small, weak, and inferior bodies. Kasi if 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 hindi tayo uh, small, weak, and inferior, then walang magi strive no na na ganitong feeling sa atin to strive for superiority or success. Iba kasi okay ka niya, perfect ka niya. So ano pa? So you and then when you are already perfect, then you are not anymore uh, capable to 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 empathize with other people na mahina na naghihirap kasi okay ka na eh nandoon ka na sa taas so kaya parang talagang naturally we are already blessed you no know, with small weak and inferior bodies and success is an individualized concept and all people formulate their own definition of it totoo rin yan di ba iba-iba ang success for every people for every person Maring sa iyo, success means uh, having material possessions. But for other people, success means uh, breathing every day and um, waking in the morning still alive. That is already in success. No? So, iba-iba tayo ng definition of what success is. So, for example, uh, a person with a weak body will not necessarily be become a robust athlete but instead... Uh, may become an artist, an actor, or a writer. Okay? So, hindi naman kagad na, uh, of course, uh, merong mahinang katawan, pangangatawan, payatin, ganyan, or, or lampa. No? Then, yun nga, hindi naman kinakailangan maging atleta siya in the long run, but pwede maging artist to compensate for that inferiority, or being an actor, or writer. So, iba-iba. Depende kasi sa tao rin kung ano ba yung success para sa kanya. Okay? Yan. Striving for personal superiority. Some people strive for superiority with little or no concern for others. Kasi nga, inisip niya lang, isin sa sarili niya. Gusto niya maging maganda, maging better. Pero kasi, nakafocus siya sa sarili niya. So, strivings are motivated by exaggerated feelings of personal inferiority. Kung baga wala sila magiging kakontentuhan kasi nakafocus sa self. For example, the murderers, the thieves, and con artists. No? Yung mga manluloko, yung mga magdanako, yung mga mamatay tao. So, wala silang regard sa ibang tao. Ang inisip lang nila, syempre kaya siya magdanako kasi para sa sarili. Kasi gusto niyo kumain, kailangan niyo kumain, kailangan kumain ng family niya. So, more on self pa rin, di ba? Kasi iniisip yung ibang tao na nanakawa nila, na pinatay nila or niloko nila. So, ganun siya, no? Some people uh, create clever disguises for their personal striving and may consciously or unconsciously hide uh, their self-centeredness behind the cloak of social concern. So, for example, nito kaya ka tumutulong uh, uh, kasi gusto mong makita ng ibang tao na, na mabuti kang tao. So, nasan dun yung social interest? Ang interest mo ay pang sarili pa rin, di ba? So, this is very common in our uh, in some, no? Hindi naman lahat, but some of our no, mga government officials no, na di di uh, they volunteer or they uh, donate something and then they post their names on it. No? So, just to brag, just to say na meron silang naambag, uh, pero not for uh, concern talaga or compassionate concern to, to the society but for, for themselves, diba? to become famous, to become uh, known to people na 
ang uh, matulungin yan si Go, no? matulungin yan si Mayon. But yun nga, uh, not, not all naman, hindi naman lahat, but some. No? And it can be also uh, applicable, hindi lang sa politics, but also to some work or occupation. Like for example, a teacher. Uh, some teachers are, uh, I'm not saying all, no? some teachers are uh, knowledgeable. Of course, they are experts no, to what they teach. But however, uh, there are teachers na they don't accept uh, committing mistakes or they don't accept other suggestions. Kasi nga, uh, they like to be the one who give orders to instruct or they want to be the giver of knowledge, the sole giver of knowledge kasi sila'y nakakaalam and it makes them feel na superior sila kasi parang, oh, hindi mo alam yan, ako alam ko yan, diba? Parang ganun. So, in a way, uh, hindi siya nagpapakita ng social interest or walang, uh, kumbaga, personal superiority yung nangyayari. Hindi siya uh, striving for success of the humanity kasi you need to understand also the perspective of the students para maging, kumbaga, collaborative, di ba? Collaborative kasi meron ka mga hindi alam na alam ng students or pwede ka rin magkamali because you're not perfect, di ba? So, ganun. Ganun yung uh, nagiging parang cycle, no? Kung ano ba yung personal superiority and striving for success. Yeah. Striving for success, uh, psychologically healthy individuals are concerned with goals beyond themselves, are capable of helping others without demanding or expecting a personal payoff, and are able to see others not as opponent but as people with whom they can cooperate for social benefit. Diba? Ito na yun, yung sinabi ko kanina. Saktong-sakto, word by word, no? Their sense of personal worth is tied closely to their contributions to human society. No, yung personal worth or yung parang, uh, parang um, sense of pride or confidence, self-esteem, whatever you call it, ay related no? dun sa mga naging contribution mo o sa mga naibahagi mo, naiambag mo sa lipunan, diba? sa human society. Hmm. Kasi kung sarili mo lang, kung sarili mo lang masaya, kaya nga maraming mayaman na hindi talaga masaya kasi maroon sa sarili lang. Kasi pag nabili mo na lahat ng kailangan mo, then what now? Diba? Um, parang walang purpose, walang sense of uh, uh, humanity. No? Kasi sarili mo lang yan eh. Sarili mo lang na kinabang. No? So, masaya ka. Kaya lang, at the end of the day, nilungkot pa rin. No? Hindi ka pa rin nagiging healthy psychologically kasi nga, uh, mag-isa ka lang. No? Parang ganon. So, yan. Social progress is more important to them than personal credit. Ah, di ba? Of course, that is very, very difficult to attain and to do. No? Itong uh, striving for success. Kaya maganda tong ano yan, theory talaga ni Adler. Actually, this one of my favorite theory. Alfred Adler's Individual Psychology concept of Alfred Adler's theory is about subjective perception. So these are people's subjective perceptions that shape their behavior and personality. So sinasabi natin na uh, meron tayong mga parang guide no, that, that shape our behavior and personality. And ang tawag dito ni Adler is subjective perception. Subjective kasi it depends upon the person, no? kung ano yung kanyang um, fictional finalism o yung pinatawag natin yun nga, subjective perception na nagigayad sa behavior natin. Okay? And then perception kasi nga iba-iba, different kada tao, kada individual kung ano yung kanyang tingin no? sa kanyang sarili or ano yung goal niya sa kanyang life na yun yung magsisilbing guide 
or nagsishape na doon sa kanyang behavior and personality. Kaya subjective perception. So, ibig sabihin, walang dalawang tao na parehong-pareho ng kanyang subjective perception. At dahil subjective at perception siya, it doesn't mean na it's true or it's real. Pwedeng fictional. Diba? Pag sinabing fictional, it can be, it can, it can be untrue. No, it can be unreal. So, whether it's true or not, it can shape or it can change, it can modify our behavior and personality. Okay. Fictionalism. So, ito ngayon, paulit-ulit na natin sinasabi, no, na this subjective fictional final goal, no, kasi iba-iba yung sinasabi ng mga textbook, merong ibang textbook na, yun nga, subjective perception, meron naman final goal, yung iba naman subjective final goal, subjective finalism, so, pare-pareho lang yun, iba-iba lang ng term. So, it guides our style of life. It gives unity to our personality. So, kanimbawa, yung kay Alfred Adler, yung sinabi niya na, I will conquer death. So, yun, naging, ano niya yun, naging subjective final goal niya. Kaya, yun yung naging guide niya doon sa kanyang style of life that leads to becoming a physician, to becoming a doctor. Diba? ba? So, lahat ng ginagawa niya sa buhay niya is guided nung kanyang subjective fictional final goal. So, dahil nga fictions, these are ideas that have no real existence. No? Pwedeng nasa mind mo lang siya, pwedeng isip lang siya, pwedeng idea lang siya that influence people as if they really existed. So, people are motivated not by what is true, but by their subjective perceptions of what is true. People are motivated by present perceptions of the future, meaning it is it follows teleological view. Diba? You are uh, pulled by the future. Okay? You are pulled. We are pulled or we are motivated by our present perceptions of our future. Kasi yung fictional final goal talks about the future, yung hindi pa nangyayari, yung gusto mong maabot, yung gusto mong mangyari. Kaya, uh, teleological siya. Yung behavior mo is uh, mot- uh, motivated by your subjective final goal, no? not by the past. Although, although yung mga subjective final goal are created, di ba, during your past, pero hindi pa siya nangyayari. Diba? Mangyayari pa lang siya. So, teleological yung kanyang view. Okay. Sa physical inferiorities naman, uh, ito rin yung isa sa dahilan kung bakit nagkakaroon tayo ng yun nga, uh, feelings of inferiority because of our, first of all, the physical aspects. So, people begin life as small, weak, and inferior. They develop a fiction or belief system about how to overcome these physical deficiencies and become big, strong, and superior. Physical deficiencies alone do not cause a particular style of life. They simply provide a present motivation for reaching future goals. So, kumbaga parang sinasabi ni Alfred Adler na it is normal, diba? It is normal to feel small, to feel weak, and to feel inferior because physically speaking, uh, meron tayong mga organ defects, diba? Meron tayong mga um, physical aspects, appearance na na unpleasant, no? To most of us. Na parang, ah, pangu ako, malitang um, binti ko, or pandak ako, or pangit ako. So, it somehow it it creates uh, a feeling of inferiority that we compare ourselves to other people na na mas maganda kaysa sa atin no na mas okay yung kanilang mga physical aspects and in over in overcome natin yon or kinocompensate natin yung mga physical deficiencies na yon over time no as we grow old that's why we create 
yun nga yung kanina yung subjective fictional final goal to uh, to be motivated no sa future natin na kung dati small ka, weak ka, ngayon pwede ka naman maging big, maging strong and superior. Okay, so yun yung sinasabi niyang physical inferiorities. It's not entirely negative naman, no. Um, pwede siyang maging positive, positive on a positive note. Uh, yung pagkakaroon nga ng ganong feeling na weak ka will motivate you to strive for superiority. Or, yung sinasabi nga ni Adler na mas magandang uh, option is to strive for success. Because in that way, you are not only uh, being superior to other people, but you are going to help them. Diba? Because you are now capable, you are now big, you can now help people to uh, to to become big also and to become superior to themselves. Yun. Kumbaga, hindi para i-compare yung sarili mo dun sa iba. Kasi parang walang katapusan na comparison yun kung ganun yung pamantayan mo. Diba? Kasi walang walang sense of contentment kung patuloy natin i-compare yung ating mga sarili sa kapwa natin tao. Kasi, lahat tayo ay weak, lahat tayo ay small. So how can you how can you achieve satisfaction if you're comparing yourself to someone who is also inferior, di ba? Okay, that's why you strive for success for you to be able to help mankind and society. So, yun yung yun talaga yung uh, pinaka parang heart nitong theory ni Alfred Adler. Okay. So, ito pa, isa to sa kanyang premise ng kanyang theory that uh, personality is unified and self-consistent. So, uh, may unity, no? Yung ating personality. Hindi siya kalat-kalat. Okay? And then, meron din self-consistency. Big sabihin, all throughout. Uh, kaya nga, uh, isa sa mga definitions ng personality is uh, relatively stable, di ba? Somewhat permanent, yan, and consistent over time and across different situations. Okay, so, ito yung uh, isa sa mga term na ginamit din ni Adler describing the uh, yung kanina, yung physical deformities or physical inferiority. No? The deficient organ expresses the direction of the individual's goal. The body's organs speak a language which is usually more expressive and discloses the individual's opinion more clearly than words are able to do. So, yan. Sinasabi niya dito na hindi ka pa man nagsasalita pero mas mas uh, klaro daw or mas na-express no, merely nung no, no, uh, organ uh, defect mo, no, kung ano yung organ na, na may, may diferensya or hindi ganun kaganda, yung gusto mong sabihin. No? Kasi hindi naman nagsasalita yun eh. Uh, not unless, yun nga, uh, may deformity yun or may uh, kumbaga may may, may minomotivate ka to do something about it. So, mas mas, mas nagmamotivate yun compared sa uh, sa gusto mong sabihin. Okay? So, for example, a man suffering from rheumatoid arthritis in his hands, it is as if they cry out. Diba? See my deformity? Yan, hindi nga ito sinasabi, but sinasabi ito nung kanyang arthritis, dun sa kanyang kamay. See my handicap? You can't expect me to do manual work. Yun. So, parang, parang ganun yung gusto mong sabihin nung kamay niya na may arthritis. So, his hands speak of his desire for sympathy from others. Diba? Kung baga, hindi, hindi mo yun sinasabi, hindi mo yun biniverbalize, pero the mere fact na nakikita yun ng ibang tao from you, na most probably, um, yun din yung pinaparating ng behavior mo towards the people around you. Kaya parang ang nangyayari ay, ano siya, pilay, ay may may diferensya yung kamay niya, hindi niya to kayang buhatin, hindi niya to kayang hawakan, kahit hindi mo pa sinasabi. Diba? So, ang mangyayari, yung mga tao sa paligid mo, 
ma-interpret na nila yung galaw, yung tsura nung kapansanan mo na kapansanan siya or disability siya na hindi mo kayang gawin or gampanan yung mga uh, task na or yung mga responsibilities in life. So, maawa sila sa'yo, di ba? Kung baga parang no need na to, to talk about it, no? Yung mismong uh, defect mo na, yung organ mo na yung nagsasalita for you. Kaya tinatawag niya na organ dialect. Yan. For example, yung mga nakikita nating mga uh, ano to yung mga may kapansanan or yung iba wala namang kapansanan or yung iba baka nagpapanggap lang na meron yung mga nasa yung mga nasa train station o kaya yung mga nasa tulay iba yung mga nakahiga doon yung mga namamalimos iba wala naman silang sinasabi wala naman silang oy tingnan mo oh pilay ako oy tingnan mo bulag ako iba hindi naman nila yung sinasabi pero somehow nakikipag-dialect yung kanilang organ sa atin para tayo maawa, di ba? Para tayo magbigay ng pera for them, no? Na para tayo ay, ay oo nga, kawawa naman siya, bulag siya, pilay, hindi siya makakapagtrabaho, kaya, kaya, uh, okay lang na mamali mo siya kasi napilay siya or bulag siya. Kung baga parang, uh, nandun yung, yung understanding na Ah, okay lang na ganyan na hindi siya magtrabaho, hindi siya mag uh, maging responsible, no? Kasi nga may ganun siyang disability. Which is uh, sa theory kasi ni Adler, um, it's kind of on a negative note, 'di ba? Na parang um, ang nangyayari doon ay uh, parang yun nga Um, ito yung counterpart no ano eh. Kumbaga parang hindi ka na dahil ganon dahil nag, nakikipag-dialect yung organ mo na may defect. Ang mangyayari, hindi ka na mag-aaspire or mag strive for superiority kasi ginagamit mo yung inferiority mo to, to control other people, to manipulate people, to have sympathy on you. Diba? Para ma-justify mo yung hindi mo pagkilos o ma-justify yung pagiging sabihin na natin na responsibility. Diba? Na somehow hindi nakakatulong sa society. Diba? Hindi ka nakakapag-contribute kasi nananatili ka lang sa ganoong kalagayan. Hmm. Kung baga yung inferiority mo, yung physical inferiority mo, at saka ito nga yung organ dialect, yun nga, nagda-dialect nga yung organ mo na sinasabi na, ah, okay lang yan kasi, kasi nga, hindi naman siya capable dahil, yun nga, bulag siya, pita siya, or pilay siya, or whatever, na nag-justify dun sa ano mo, no? So, parang ganun. In that way, if, um, parang in a sense, akala mo, kawawa ka. Pero ang totoo nun, hindi ka naman talaga kawawa. Ang kawawa, yung taong na manipulate mo or na-control mo ng organ dialect mo. ba diba? Parang ang nangyari, um, ano yun, yung para bang, kasi nga, gusto mo maging superior eh. ba diba? In a way, nagagamitin mo yung inferiority mo to manipulate people. Kaya ang mangyayari, parang, parang nagoyo mo sila, naloko mo sila. <laughs> diba? In a way, in a way, nag, parang ganun. Parang may ganong aspect. No? Hindi ko naman sinasabing lahat. Hindi naman. Meron naman talagang mga sobrang totoo naman or wala na talagang uh, kakayanan. Pero kasi, uh, maaring yung iba, no? kaya nga nagiging ano sila eh. Ano yun? Nagkinatawag silang uh, uh, na to yung wala nang silbe sa lipunan kasi nga kasi nga ganun, 'di ba? Well, in fact, sabi ni Adler sa theory niya, kapag hindi mo kayang um to you know, to strive for success for to contribute, kapag hindi ka nakakapag-contribute sa society, then nag ano siya, psychologically unhealthy, 'di ba? Both for the person and the society as well. Kasi kung hindi ka 
healthy psychologically, then you cannot contribute to the society. So, nagiging ano ka talaga, parang pabigat, di ba? Burden. Though, hindi ka nagpapaawa. Okay? Hindi ka nag... Ginamit mo, siya, ginamit mo yun eh. Kumbaga parang yun nga, para yung ibang tao, akala nila superior sila. May, may ano yan eh, may baliktad. Yung akala nila, pag nagbigay sila, <laughs> superior, ano yun? Akala nila, pag nagbigay sila, nakatulong sila. Pero meron yun na bibigay sa kanilang sense of, of superiority naman. No, sa kabilang banda. Parang nga nangyayari doon, doon sa taong nagbigay ng limos, parang uh, hindi rin maganda na nagbigay siya kung ang, kung ang intention niya is para maramdaman niya na, ah, mas may kaya ako sa tao na to. Makawawa siya, wala siyang pera, wala siyang kakayanan. So, magbibigay ako sa kanya para ma-feel ko na, na ako yung may kaya, ako yung may, ako yung may pera, ako yung may uh, superior, mas superior kesa sa kanya. Which is, hindi rin, pa, ano, hindi rin maganda, no? Pangit din kasi nga, ano eh, ah, uh, kinukompare mo na naman yung sarili mo dun sa isang tao na alam mo namang mahina din at ikaw mahina din. Diba? Dapat, yung thinking don is, um, nagbigay ka, hindi dahil para ma-feel mo na superior ka sa kanya or ikaw yung meron, na maramdaman mo na ikaw yung meron. Hindi dapat ganun. Diba? Kasi nga, striving for success and not for superiority. Diba? Kasi nga lahat tayo ay inferior. So, wala siyang kakakuntuhan. Conscious and unconscious. Adler defined the unconscious as that part of the goal that is neither clearly formulated nor completely understood by the individual. And conscious thoughts are those that are understood and regarded by the individual as helpful in striving for success, whereas unconscious thoughts are those that are not helpful. Okay, so dito sa theory ni Alfred Adler, uh, he emphasized the, the importance of both consciousness and unconsciousness. So, walang, walang level sa kanya ng mental life, di ba? Kay Freud kasi, uh, ni-level niya eh. Diba? Nasabi niya, yung consciousness, ito lang yung maliit na part ng ating mental life. And then, the unconscious part is the, uh, kumbaga, primary motivator, no? Nandun lahat, mas malaki, mas malaking part siya. Pero kay Adler, walang ganun. Sabi niya, yung ating goal, no? yung ating, uh, yun nga, yung subjective perception, fictional finalism, parang siyang merong ganitong component. Uh, some of the thoughts are understood and regarded by us, no? That makes us think on how to help people para mag-strive for success. Pero yung mga, minsan may mga unconscious thoughts tayo na, yun nga, that are not helpful. So, going back to my example a while ago, yung nagbigay ka ng limos, yeah, consciously, akala mo nakatulong ka, pero malamang, baka unconsciously, merong part ng sarili mo, ng mind mo, na nagsasabi na, na, ah, magbibigay ako kasi meron ako. Magbibigay ako kasi alam kong ako yung meron. Siya wala. Diba? Para maparamdam ko sa kanya na ako yung meron, at siya wala. Kaya ako nagbigay. Diba? Yung ganun. Unconscious yun, na hindi siya nakakatulong. Kasi, ang nangyari dun, yun nga, Hayaan mo lang siya na manlimos. Kasi alam niya, may, may manlilimos sa kanya eh. Alam niya na may magbibigay sa kanya. So, gagawin na niya yun. Hindi na siya mag-strive for the better. Hindi na siya mag-strive for, for success niya naman sa sarili niya. So, ganun siya. Nagiging cycle, no? Kaya, conscious and unconscious are part of that goal. Okay? Okay, social interest. The value of all human activity must be seen from the viewpoint of social interest. Yan. So, ito talaga yung pinaka-heart ng theory ni Alfred Adler. Na lahat, lahat daw, 
ng ating human activity. No, kailangan ka makitaan, no, doon sa makitaan ng pagkakaroon ng social interest. Kumbaga lahat ng gagawin mo, lahat ng behaviors mo, lahat ng activities mo must involve or must uh, be seen from the viewpoint of social interest. Kumbaga para sa kapakanan ng nakararami o ng mga tao. So, social interest in a German term is uh, spelled by Gemein Schatz Gefol. Okay, so German term siya. So, in, in short, uh, this is uh, another term for Gemein Schatz Gefol is community feeling. Hindi talaga social interest. Okay, kasi yung community feeling or social feeling doon nang galing yung social interest. Kung maga meron kang pakiramdam, meron kang damdamin para sa komunidad, para sa pamayanan. Ibig sabihin, magkakaroon ka ng interest sa mga tao na nakapaligid sa'yo. Yan. An attitude of relatedness with humanity in general, as well as an empathy for each member of the human community. The natural condition of the human species and the adhesive that binds society together. Yun ang social interest. Diba? Yun ang isa sa mga bagay na wala ang hayop. Yung social interest. Natangin tayo lang mga meron. So, even in social media, diba? Uh, we, we, we tend to socialize, to get involved, to participate. Diba? in a social gathering, in a social activity, because we are humans and we are social beings. Kaya meron tayong tinatawag na community feeling. So lahat ng actions mo, sabi nga doon sa ano yun, yung golden rule, uh, whatever you do, parang ginagawa mo rin sa kapwa mo, kasi nga, social being ka. So whatever you do, ano man yung, kumbaga parang meron siyang domino effect, di ba? Kahit na, kumbaga lahat ng kilos mo, meron siyang uh, effect sa mga taong nasa paligid mo. Yan. Kasi nga, we are social. Yan. Meron tayong kitab na community, feeling. That's why we also feel empathy. Empathy meaning understanding uh, one's own point of view. Kasi you are putting yourself on others' shoe. Diba? Umaga, what if ikaw yon? What if ikaw yung nasa situation niya? What will you feel? So, kaya daw natin yung maramdaman as humans if we have social interest. If social interest is developed among us. Actually, social interest is developed usually during childhood. Okay? When we are Uh, when we are taught of how to behave pro-socially. Okay? So, tinuturo pa lang, bata pa lang, tinuturo na yung pagiging pro-social. Ibig sabihin, ikaw ay, uh, lahat ng kilos mo ay para sa ikabubuti ng iyong kapwa. Diba? Kaya kapag hindi mo natutunan yun, eventually, Uh, magkakaroon ka ng conduct disorder, di ba? Wala kang regards sa feelings ng iba, nananakit ka physically, verbally, emotionally, naninira ka ng property, so, and so on and so forth. So, in the long run, kapag naging adult ka na at ganun yung iyong uh, pag-ugali, ang mangyayari sa'yo, magkakaroon ka ng antisocial personality. So, dun pa lang, anti-social. Ibig sabihin nun, walang social interest. So, more on the self lang siya. Diba? More on the gratification of the self. More on pain and pleasure towards the self. But not thinking anymore of the interest of the public or the socials. No, yung mga tao sa paligid. Okay? So, yan yung talagang isa sa mga Um, focus ng theory ni Alfred Adler, the social interest. 
Okay, so ito yung origins no, of social interest. Yes, mother-child relationship. Because the mother's job is to develop a bond that encourages the child's mature social interest and fosters a sense of cooperation. Kasi kung may social interest ka, may community feeling ka, magko-cooperate ka sa mga kapwa mo. Diba? Hindi mo ipipilit ang gusto mo, hindi ka mag-iinarte, diba? hindi ka mag-walk out, makikipagkaisa ka or makikipag-participate ka sa grupo. Kasi yun na, mature ang, yun yung pagpapakita ng isang mature na social interest. And yun ay natututunan nga daw, sabi ni Adler, doon sa mother-child relationship. Why? Maybe it's possible because during that time, the, mother, the mother's love creates a trusting environment diba? between us. Kung baga nagkakaroon tayo ng tiwala doon sa tao sa paligid, di ba? Na hindi na hindi ka papabayaan, na hindi ka sasaktan. Yeah. Although may mga times na pwede kang masaktan, pwede kang uh, pwede may manakit sa iyo, pero yung yung trust or yung hope na oo, meron, oo, hindi laging maganda, but meron pa din na sasalot-sasalo sa iyo at meron pa ring magandang kalalabasan. So, ang mangyayari nun, mas may involve ka sa mga tao, mas magtitiwala ka, mas makikisama ka. Kahit na alam mo na minsan, hindi laging okay. Pero minsan naman, okay. So, yun yung normal, yun yung mature na social interest. So, the father must demonstrate a caring attitude toward his wife as well as to other people. Yun, meron din kinalaman na yung father, no, kapag nakikita ng bata na caring yung kanyang father sa kanyang wife. Yan. So, parang yun yung nagiging model ng bata na dapat caring din tayo sa ibang tao. A successful father avoids the dual errors of emotional detachment and paternal authoritarianism. Yun, yun naman, uh, kasi nga, tatay eh. Diba? Ang tatay hindi naman talaga yan close. No? Hindi sila emotional yung persons. So, somehow, may makikreate na parang detachment emotionally from our fathers. So, it may influence the child to develop a warped sense of social interest, a feeling of neglect, and possibly a parasitic attachment to the mother. Yeah, so, parang in a way, parang feeling mo hindi ka mahal, di ba? Kasi nga, detached yung father because of hindi pwedeng magpakita ng emotion yung mga lalaki or may ganun silang ano paniniwala pero hindi naman uh, paternal authority authoritarianism ito naman yung parang syempre tatay parang uh, in a way dahil tatay sila yung authority di ba sila yung nagbibigay talaga ng rules policy sa bahay kaya it may also lead to an unhealthy style of life di ba kasi parang ang makikita ng bata doon is kalaban yung tatay niya Diba sa lahat ng gusto niya? Kasi maraming bawal, maraming di pwede. Now which is hindi naintindihan ng bata. Akala niya bawal-bawal lang yon So, ang tingin niya sa tatay niya is uh, a dictator, a tyrant, or kalaban, di ba? Na nag strive for power and personal superiority. So, ganun, no? And then after age 5, uh, the effects of heredity become blurred by the powerful influence of the child's social environment. Ayan. So, sabi ni Adler, uh, hindi naman niya dinidiscount yung effects ng heredity, but <clears throat> sabi niya, uh, medyo nasasapawan lang naman no, ng uh, social environment yung heredity pagdating ng 5 years old. Ayan. Kaya napakahalaga yung social environment sa pag-develop ng personality ng isang tao lalo na sa childhood no so come to think of it nowadays when you have a sibling or a child that is uh, age let's say less than 
and we are now using the online platforms in engaging and interacting. So, ano kaya mangyayari sa development ng kanilang social interest? Okay. Importance of social interest. Yan. So, sabi nga, this is the sole criterion of human value. So, diba? So, sabi ni Adler yan. No? Ibig sabihin, yan, yan lang daw yun. Sole criterion. Yan na yun. Yan na yung criteria of judging. Diba? Nang basihan para ikaw ay masabing mabuting tao. Kung ikaw ba ay mayroong social interest. Yan. So, mahigpit talaga ang pagkakasabi ni Adler dyan, di ba? Sabi niya, this is the only gauge to be used. Uh, meron pa nga akong nabasa, sabi, the barometer no? of, of, uh, of being uh, psychologically healthy or normal no? is having uh, social interest. O, di ba? So, ganun siya katindi. Yan. So, sabi niya, healthy individuals are genuinely concerned about people and have a goal for success that encompasses the well-being of all people. O, diba? Genuinely concerned. Ayan. Yung iba kasi, akala nila concerned sila, pero hindi. Sarili pa rin nila yung kanilang iniisip doon. Tulad nga ng mga examples ko kanina, no, nagbigay ka ng limos, pero ang totoo nun, it is for your own sense of self, na naramdaman mo na, ay, meron ako, nakapagbigay ako. So, parang, hindi siya genuine. Diba? Kasi hindi siya for the, for the community, hindi siya for for the good of mankind, diba? For yourself pa rin siya. So, tuturuan mo lang sila na malimos. Diba? So, and have a goal for success. So, ikaw lang yung laging mayaman kasi lahat sila manlilimo. So, ikaw lang yung yayaman. So, parang ganun, no? Kapitalista rin, no? Yung ganong thinking. Yeah, parang gusto, gusto nila na, na maraming mahirap, di ba? Parang okay yun para mas monopolize nila yung, yung market. So, wala siyang social interest. Okay? All people possess feelings of inferiority. Yes, of course. All. Di ba? Walang all talaga, as in. And all set a final goal at around age 4 or 5. And since we are people, we are all inferior. Kaya nga kung sa kapwa mo ikaw makikipagkompetensya, then walang katapusang kompetens yan. You know, walang katapusang uh, ano to, pakikipag um uh, kompetensya. Kasi nga, inferior tayo lahat. ba? You should strive for superiority or success for for yourself to be able to help other people. Not to be compared as superior to other people. Diba? Yun yun eh. Exaggerated feelings of inferiority lead to a neurotic style of life. Okay? Whereas, normal feelings of incompletion result in healthy style of life. So, meron mga exaggerated feelings of inferiority. So, yung feeling, minsan, yun nga, sabi nga, hindi naman lahat ang inisip mo ay true or real. So, pwedeng in-exaggerated mo lang yun no, to, to get the the sympathy from other people, di ba? Yeah. So, neurotic style of life, yan. And then, uh, dapat, yun nga, normal naman na magkaroon ng inferiority, but, yun nga, it can result in healthy style of life. So, if you could see there, uh, you could see figure 3.1, page 84, dun sa book ni Pice, no, to read more examples nitong um, slide na to. Okay? So, style of life is the self-consistent personality structure that develops into a person's style of life. And again, 
ang pinaka-goal mo nito, yung pinaka-guide mo dun sa style of life mo is your subjective perceptions o yung fictional finalism. Yan, this is the flavor of a person's life. Person's goal, self-concept, feelings for others, and attitude toward the world. It is the product of the interaction of heredity, environment, and a person's creative power. In a way, when we say style of life, uh, this refers to your actions. Diba? This refers to your experiences. Ito na yun, yung interaction ng yung genes mo, yung environment mo. Kung sinabing environment dito, it speaks of the social environment, no? yung mga pakikipag halubilo mo sa tao, and of course, your choice. No? Yung person's creative power. Yan. Ano rin niya yan? Um, uh, ano to? Parang uh, a pillar din ng theory ni Adler. Yung pagkakaroon daw natin ng creative power of the self. Diba? Kung sinasabi niya dito na, oo nga, meron kang kainaan. We are all inferior. All are inferior. Especially at birth. And as we grow old, we are still inferior and we are trying to compensate that inferiority. How? By using also our creative power of the self, which is to choose whatever is best for us. Diba? Whatever is best, whatever is good for the goodness of the humanity. Kasi nga may social interest. Okay? Kung baga hindi ka na stuck dyan, hindi ka uh, ano to, biktima ng nakaraan. Kung baga meron kang magagawa, meron kang creative power to change for the better. And of course, whatever you do, whatever activity that you do, meron siyang social interest. Fairly well established by age 4 or 5. So, sabi nga, healthy people see many ways of striving for success. Di ba? Marami, maraming paraan kung healthy ka. But, yun nga, kapag hindi, kung marami kang dahilan, <laughs> di ba? Parang ganun. And continually seek to create new options for themselves. So, parang papasok dito yung pagiging resilient, di ba? Overcomer. Now, what, now in, in every challenges, in every struggles, if you are healthy, uh, then you can see many ways on how to strive for success. So, look at my example, no? Yung kanina yung sa, sa nanlilimos. No? Hindi ko naman nila lahat, pero baka yung iba. No? Like, for example, yun nga, if they're not, if they're healthy, they can see other ways to strive for success, right? So, I, yun nga, I don't think na they are healthy people if they continually uh, cannot see other options. Diba? Kasi hindi nila ginagamit yung creative power of the self because they want to be burdened. They want to be a burden to the society. They don't want to uh, to be helpful to the so to the society, to the government, no? Because, ganun. Kaya wala social interest. In a way. In a way, ganun. And, also, yun din namang mga nasa taas, ganun din. No? Yung mga, yung mga magiyaman tao, yung mga business tycoon, mas minamanipulate din nila. Gusto nga nila yun na maraming mahirap para maging superior sila sa sarili nila. Kasi sila yung meron. No? So, ganun eh. Nagiging cycle eh. Kaya walang, walang ano eh. Walang pagbalanse, eh. Diba? Pero yun nga. People with a healthy, socially useful style of life express their social interest through action. So, yun na nga yung sinabi ko kanina, diba? Na style of life, uh, ito yung ating action. Diba? Ito yung ating behavior itself. Habang tayo ay lumalaki, nakikipaghalubilo. Yan. So, dyan makikita 
yung ating uh, social interest sa pumamagitan ng style of life na socially useful. Hindi ka nagiging pabigat, di ba, sa society. Okay, and then last is na creative power. Yan, style of life is molded by people's creative power. Of course, creative power is somewhat, uh, kumbaga parang, nasa sa'yo. Ikaw yan, ikaw yung gumagawa, ikaw yung nag-choose on what, on what to do, on how to, to, to seek for ways, on how to become socially useful. Yan. So, sabi nga ni Alfred Adler, all people are responsible for who they are and how they behave. Okay? So, mahigpit ang ano niya dito, ha? Uh, sabi kasi ni Freud, di ba, wala tayong kinalaman kung sino tayo ngayon because of our past yan. Wala ka nang magagawa. Pero para kay Adler, hindi. Ikaw yan. Ikaw ang responsable kung sino ka magiging and paano ka mag be behaved. Yan. Creative power makes each person a free individual. Kaya nga yung tawag sa theory ni Adler is individual psychology to emphasize being free. You know? To emphasize the beauty of, 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 of being in control or, or being responsible of who we are. Okay? So, creative power is a dynamic concept implying movement. Diba? And this movement is the most salient characteristics of life. All psychic life involves movement toward a goal and movement with a direction. So, we are our own architect and can build either useful or a useless style of life. Yan. So, itong, meron ditong, ano, example, uh, the law of the low doorway. Sabi dyan, I don't know if you're familiar with, um, meron daw isang pinto na maliit. Mababa, kesa sa'yo. Siguro mga, siguro mga 3 feet ganun. Or 4, or mga 2 feet, 2 to 3 feet yung pinto. Kasi ko mga 5 feet. So, anong gagawin mo para makapasok ka doon or para makalabas ka? Kung mas mababa sa'yo yung pinto. So, ang sabi dyan, ba? Either, ikaw, nasa sa'yo yun. Kung yuyuko ka ba para makapasok doon sa pinto? O, sige mo lang ibabangga yung ulo mo sa pader hanggang makapasok ka sa pinto. Ba, pwede naman. O, hanggang sa mabutas mo yung pader, makakadaan ka na rin. Pero, wasak yung ulo mo. So, anong pipiliin mo? ba? Yun yun eh, the law, the law of the low doorway. So, you have the creative power on how to, to change your life. To build either a useful or a useless style of life. 